morning, Pastor Steve here. Isaiah 49, 14 through 16. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Do you ever feel alone and forgotten? I have, and it's not a good feeling. One night recently, I had this dream that my wife was tired of me and left me for someone else. Now, to me, it's a miracle that she's not. Now, that isn't remotely true. <clears throat> but in my dreams, it was, and I woke feeling shaken and, and, and fearful and totally bereft. I didn't know what to do, and I, I woke her up. It's okay. She loves me. And she assured me that it was a dream about her evil twin and not her. And that she she really loved me and she wasn't going anywhere. And after a while, I calmed down and the, and the false feeling passed. It passed because once she assured me by her words and by her long 43 years now, faithfulness to our marriage. Do you ever feel like God has forgotten you? In this passage, you can awake from that horrid dream and listen to the two proofs that he will not. One is his words of assurance here and in other scriptures as well. A mother may forget her child, unlikely but possible, but even though they may forget, I won't. I won't forget you. Look, I've carved you. I've carved you with nails on my hands. Not only that, it's not just his words, but his faithfulness over the years and generations. Um, do what is very best for you. That is the second proof. 119 Psalm verse 90, your faithfulness continues throughout all generations. You establish the earth and it stands. Psalm 100 in, in the Tanakh. 1917 Tanakh says, For the Lord is good, his mercy endures forever, and his faithfulness unto all generations. 2 Timothy 2.13 in the Net Bible says, If we're unfaithful, he remains faithful. He can't deny himself. So when, when God in the flesh says, I will never leave you or forsake you, you can bank on it. You can bank on it. Never means never. And when the psalmist says, The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can a man do unto me? You can count on it. The evil one will try his best to get you to believe that the evil twin conjured up in your mind is real. But the revealed word of the one who loves you best is where you place your trust. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.